It's time for George's golden days of footy. We've got a beauty today, Benny. And Dad, you're keeping with the uh, interleague theme. I think that's terrific. 1979, Bendigo taking on the Latrobe Valley. One and two it was. And it was in those days when cigarette companies were able to sponsor sport. It was the Winfield Cup. Yeah, and uh, Paul Hogan along to uh, present the cup on the day. But all the same, what a great bit of footy. What about some of the players, some of the all-time great country footballers? Ronnie Best, arguably the best. Well, you hear and read so much about Ron Best, a fantastic uh, footballer, full forward for most of his career. He was fantastic. Lenny Petch was in there. Yeah. He was the skipper. And what about the ex Footscray player Ian Salmon? Played a lot of football down there uh, in Lee and Gathaway. And Tony Southcombe, who, uh, who played for Carlton. And another bloke who's pretty well known to, uh, to people who follow AFL football. Yeah, Jeff. They unleashed the geese. Yeah, you're right, Dags. Uh, Jeff Gooshin did play in that game. Let's go to the highlights and have a look at it. Play on is the call. Bendigo defend very nicely too through Davey. Out towards the is Calvesti coming in all on his own. If he's good enough to get around Davey, he's not. He hand passes to Gishin. No, it's Sweeney. Sweet. Sweeney now is all dressed up with nowhere to go. He's on the pocket. Here's a chance for a beautiful mark right in front of goal by Peter Boyce. He's put that right down the throat on this occasion of his teammate. A hand pass to Davidson. Davidson towards the goals. Great accuracy. Davidson underneath it is going to the goal, I think. Yes, it's a goal Let's goal. check it. It's a beautiful goal, Stanley Davidson. In comes Gisha now. He'll try and break the tackle. He can't do so. Taken away from Menigo. That desperate football out here this afternoon. In comes Curly Salmon. Rushes a few aside. Gavin Bransgrove high on the air to nobody in particular. Higgins dropped what he should have taken. Beautifully done, Stan Davidson. He's caught, trapped, pushed, and he'll get a free kick for sure. Gosh, and Stan Davidson lucky, is going to scrape himself off the ground and, and a 15-metre penalty to a centre wing broadcasting side of the ground. That'll be a free kick to Lenny Petch, if I know umpires here. Yes, uh, right into the back there of Len Petch was Eric Pascoe, who uh, took the knock from uh, the Bendigo side. He hand passes quickly to Curly Salmon. Salmon with a magnificent left foot kick in the Sweeney direction. Sweeney's underneath it, taken away from him. A hand pass will get Bendigo out of trouble. They come across towards the centre wing division, but underneath it is Carl Vesti, and Vesti is marked very nicely right on centre wing for the LBFL. Waiting now for Vesti. Puts it down looking for Meredith. You'll find him. No, it's over the hands of Meredith. Coming through a Sweeney. He battles hard. Tries to get through a pack. Can't do so. Bendigo off the half-back line. Around again it goes towards Pasco, but uh, Salmon punches it away. And it's over the line and out of bounds. 3-3-21 the Latrobe Valley. 1-1-7 for the Bendigo League. Nice knock there taken, but South can rove to it. What's he doing roving? Up it goes where Ray Coleman beautifully traps the ball. Hand passes to Vesti. That is good football, but uh, Vesti has dropped it. He uh, hand passes oh, across and then fumble the ball and they're in trouble now as it goes off the uh, uh, boots of Bendigo up towards centre half forward. Dale Foster came out, Tom Beveridge a free kick should have been but not paid. Uh, it's into the arms of Davey by G. They're going in hard here this afternoon up towards the half forward line and Steve McCarrow quickly plays on after a mark slams it down the throat of Tyak who's dropped the ball. Tyak tried very hard to pick it up couldn't do so. Big curly Salmon and Tyak. It's picked up by Coleman back towards Gishin at centre half back and momentarily the Latrobe Valley out of trouble. Gishin plays on. Yes good looking kick from Gishin it's down here where Amy Jones with the city gets the hands of the ball, can't mark it however. Comes out wide and looking at, uh, after the ball is Williams. Coming out with the ball now is um, Lynch. Lynch. Lynch down to the centre half forward. Here's a chance. Oh, there's going to be a free kick here against Ray Sweeney. But anyway, it's Davey again, that brick wall of centre half back. Down towards the centre half forward division with that left foot of his. Tom Beveridge in front. Best from behind. Oh, magnificent, magnificent mark from mark Best. Champion. Yes, a magnificent mark to Ron Best. And I would imagine that he would put this straight through the centre from 25 metres out from goal and register his second and the Bendigo Football League's third to bring them within four points of the LBFL. Doesn't miss many, Ronnie Best. Goes back on its way. Hasn't missed that either. Magnificent kick of the ball. Magnificent mark. It goes out here to Hartney. It's too high for Hartney. He's set him up. A beautifully done Hartney as he comes off that centre wing. A kick in the centre half forward and he's found that fellow. Macero. And Macero. Macero in the best. Best fumbles it. He's, <laughs> but he's pulled it in at the last minute, Ronnie Best. I thought he'd fumbled it, but he was enough to pull it out. And uh, by gee, that's an uh, impressive sort of goal tally. He's going to end up, if he can kick this one, Graham. It's going to be six. And I think Tommy Beveridge has done a good job on him. 
by Jig as he know where the goals are. Kicks through the ball very nicely indeed. With only minutes to go in this VCFL Winfield Championship, Paul Hogan, the great Winfield man, will present the trophy to the winning skipper, which at this stage looks like being Len Petch. Out in the centre of the ground, up they go. Nice knock by Len Petch again. Great game and skipper this afternoon. This fellow has played. Picked up by Murray Frew. He's been serviceable as well. Uh, Waiting now for the scoreboard to be altered. That will be 9-14. That will be... Uh, well, I think it should be 9... There's the siren. And the Latrobe Valley Football League have been victorious in what has been a magnificent game of football here this afternoon because uh, we have seen the Latrobe Valley Football League in its most splendid moment, Buck. There was many household...